my foxy friends, this is Sarah from Foxy's Domestic Side and today I am bringing you this dear look. As I was trying to find a costume for my kids Halloween party at their school, I wanted to try and find a makeup look that had a dear look and I just found that they were really complicated and using products that I did not have nor did I want to go buy. So this makeup look is something that you can all do with products that you already have. I kind of adapted what they did and used products that I already have on hand and I give you suggestions on what you can use if you don't have what I have. I bought the antlers off Amazon. I will leave a link to everything that I purchased in a link down below. If you want to see how I got this look, keep watching. Okay, so here is my blank face and then you're going to start with your normal foundation routine. So I am going to use this Dr. Brandt primer. Remember, I'm trying to use products that you guys already have because so many videos that I watched were things I don't have. So I'm trying to adapt this for you guys so you can see exactly what you need just to get the look. So I am going to use this foundation, the Marc Jacobs foundation. I am wearing the color Tan Y420. Okay, so I have my foundation on and normally at this point I would do flat concealer and then I do brightening concealer and then I would do my eyes. But today we want this part of your face right here, kind of right here, to be really bright so that it kind of just um, glows like a deer face would. So I am using a concealer that I bought for myself that is just too light. So find something, a foundation, something that is too light for your face or your coloring now. Sometimes you have like a spring face and a winter face. Find something that's too light for you. So I just happen to have this Tarte Shape Tape that I bought. Um, I bought it online and it was too light but I felt bad returning it. So I have this really light Shape Tape that I'm going to use for that area. And it's just going to look really, really white right now but it, it will work once we get going, okay? Promise. So look how light that is on me. So I just kind of want to use a lot because we want to, um, you want to really go down the nose right here and then on the chin a little bit right here. So then we want to blend that all in. And try not to get right here on the nose right here um, because you want to darken that up I mean, it doesn't really matter. See how light that is on me, which is exactly what we want. You kind of want to leave that space right there, right here, a little bit without the lightening on it because we're going to put some darkening on it to kind of create the nose, the skinny nose look. So you want to just go up here like this and just blend it all in. Okay, so at this point, it's really bright and it's looking pretty bad. Can't know, I don't know if you can tell, but it's but it's really bright and that's what we want for the deer look. So next we're going to just try and we're just going to um, contour the heck out of your face. Because we're going to put all around here, right here, we want a kind of dark look. So I happen to have this Tartiest Glow palette here. Um, I got it in one of BoxyCharm box, I think. But just find something that's really dark. Um, you can use this, I have this, this Anastasia um, contour kit. So find a bronzer, or even if you don't if you don't have anything, find like a dark eyeshadow. You could definitely use like this dark eyeshadow right here to do that. It's just gonna take more product. I'm gonna use this darkest shade called, oh, it's called Shade. I'm gonna use this one right here. And I'm just gonna use this, where is it? This brush right here. Um, this doesn't really get the color that I want, but it starts getting my face darker. So you want to put it all right here. And then you want to bring it down here. And this is normally where I would put my bronzer, like right here in the hollow of my cheek. You want to go slightly higher than that, right here. And the name of the game right now is Blend, Blend, Blend. So we're gonna do several different variations of this darkening to get it all dark. So we just want kind of like a dark base coat right here, and then we'll move on. OK, 
Okay, so we have that done now. Now this coloring is not exactly the coloring, but it got me darker. So what I'm going to use is part of this Anastasia palette, and I'm gonna use these darker this darker color here. Try and find something, maybe an eyeshadow that you have that's a little bit darker, that's gonna be a little bit closer to the darkness that you want. I'm going to use a different brush. So I'm gonna use this brush right here, and then I'm gonna just go over what I've already done. So you can see the contrast between this and this. This is exactly what we want, just like this. Now we're gonna work on the eyes a bit. I'm going to use this Too Faced Shadow Primer. This is gonna be super easy look right here. So basically I am doing my brown smoky eye that I normally do. I use this the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. You can use any colors that you want, but I'm going for a brownish tone. So I am using first this Milk Chocolate color right here. And I am going to put that in the crease of my eye. Just putting this in the crease of my eye. I'm gonna do a slightly smoky look. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with semi-sweet right here, right there, and darken the corners of the eye. So just use a slight shade darker than the one you just used. Doesn't have to be too much darker, and you only want to go from halfway on the outside because we're gonna do like light glitter on the inside. Most eyeshadow palettes will have like dark brown, you know if you have a neutrals palette, will have these different shades of brown. And then we are just gonna take this brush right here and we are going to use this triple fudge color right here. This one right there, that dark brown. And we're just gonna deepen the the outer corner of my eye. I'm gonna go back to this brush right here and we're just gonna blend it all in a little bit. So the next part is gonna be where you kinda of start looking like a deer. You want to find in one of your eyeshadow palettes something, a really light color. It could be um, a matte color or a shimmer color because from this right here in, we want to do a really light color. I have in this palette the Champagne Truffle right here and it happens to be a shimmer color but I really do think that you can use a matte shade if you don't have any shimmers. So I'm going to use this brush right here, just like a flat brush, and I am going to spray it with some water primer so that that shimmer will really shine and it will just be really thick and it will um, make it stand out on my eye. So I'm going to spray my brush. And then I am going to dip it and I'm gonna just pat it on. So I'm not brushing it back and forth, I'm patting it on. And then I'm gonna put it on this outside part right here. And you kinda have to make it work and you wanna go all the way in to the corner of your eye. Might take a few layers. Um, my skin's a little dark so it kind of takes a few more layers, um, but you'll get there eventually. You never have too much. That's, you really want to look like a deer. Okay, there we go. Now I am going to do my eyeliner. I'm going to do my eyeliner. I'm going to use this, um, it's really small now, but the Urban Decay 24-7 in Perversion. This is what works for me. So I like to get the bulk of my eyeliner done and then I go in with the felt tip and kind of make the lines. But what we're gonna do here is a very overlined eyeliner. We wanna look like a deer. So we're gonna do a very, very big wing liner right now. I'm going to use the Tartius Double Take Eyeliner. It comes with um, a pencil on this side and then a felt tip on this side. It's the most amazing pencil ever. So what we're gonna do is a very wide winged liner. So you want to go, you just wanna really exaggerate it. So you, usually I do my winged liner right about here, but we're gonna go way out here. So 
because of my eye shape, I have like a fold on my eye. I have to do it really defined so I can get, if you can see, I can get, when I open my eye, you can't see any of the eyeliner right here. So I have to kind of overline it a lot so we can see, because we want the eyeliner to be seen around the whole eye. And now we are going to, this near. we're gonna meet the corners here and make a little tip right here and we're gonna bring it in. Before we do that, I find that works the best for me is to line my lower lashes with some eyeshadow and then do a pencil, not the liquid liner, do a pencil. And if you smudge it in, it lasts all day and you don't get any runs. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And I'm gonna put this on my lower lash line right here. So now we are going to go in with the pencil to make the sharp point right here and then we're going to go and use the other side of this to line the rest of the lower lashes. So we're going to stop there. This is just for me. If you can do um, felt tip or liquid liner on your bottoms, feel free, but I, I know that it won't work on me. So I'm going to use this tip and low connect it. Now let's smudge it out. There we have one eye, done. And then I'll speed through the other one. Okay, the eyes are mostly done. We're gonna go and do some more face stuff first. Now that everything has a, had a chance to sit, we kinda wanna lighten up the parts right here if you can. In this palette that I have, it happens to have some lighter colors. So I'm going to use this color right here to kinda lighten up and pack in that lightness around the parts that are on my cheeks and my forehead. I'm going to do that with this brush. I just randomly picked this brush. So I'm gonna pack this in right here and just do pat it in right here to kind of just accentuate the fact that it's white. Just try and find a light color. Again, eyeshadow will work. This is actually contour, so. Now that that's done, I want to probably take this and go a little bit darker on the outsides now that I've kind of done that. Um, Cause you just really want this to be dark. And there's really no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, you kind of just kind of keep looking in the mirror and you're like, okay, does that look good to your face? But it is, it's starting to shape up. Now we wanna do a little bit of blush. I don't wanna use the pinky blushes. I wanna more use more brown um, blushes. This Hourglass palette right here, and it had, comes with three shades. I'm gonna use these two colors on the outsides right here. So I'm just gonna tap it on both sides and not use this pink one. And just kind of deepen that cheek a little bit more. Basically, you kinda of just wanna give yourself di slightly different colors so it's not really flat. So that's what I'm trying to do. So you kind of layer different colors on top of each other. So use what you have. If it's all eyeshadows, then it's all eyeshadows. So now I'm going to use my normal bronzer. So I'm gonna use this bronzer right here. And I'm gonna actually go where I normally go with my bronzer right here, just to kind of give it some more dimension. So now we wanna work on the nose part and my eyebrows. I'm going to use this Benefit Gimme Brow. It's in the shade 4.5. So we're gonna do my brows, and then we're going to create a line down my nose. Make this part a little bit bushier, because you're gonna connect this line right here to goes down. Now I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to actually use this darker eyeshadow here. What is it called? This triple fudge right here to make a line that goes from here all the way down. And remember, you want to be on top of your nose and not the side of your nose. Because you want the, you know, deer noses are kind of thin, so you want it to be on top of your nose and leave a little tiny gap down the center of your nose. You want to connect it to your eyebrows. If you have different color browns, use them. Okay, so now we've created this nose. I think that is a little too dark for my liking. So I'm gonna try and lighten it up by kind of blending it out. So I'm going to get a fluffy brush to kind of get rid of some of that extra product. I do think I need a little bit more right here. I'm gonna go in with this palette here, kind of try and deepen this up a little. All right, so now we want to create a nose. 
I am going to use this Lip Sense Rustic Brown and the Lip Sense Onyx right here. So I want the base of the nose to be brown and I'm gonna fill it in with a little bit of black. Okay, I'm gonna just use this tiny little brush right here. And first I'm gonna use the brown. Again, use what other uh, any color that you have. And what we're gonna do is make a little heart here and we're not gonna cover the whole nose. I'm just gonna cover half of my nose just because I have a bigger nose. All right, so now that the brown is done, I'm gonna do a little bit of black within that. So now I'm going to use this onyx color. It's black. You can see it's black. I'm gonna just follow the line that I created with the brown. So now what we're gonna do is create a line down my Cupid's bow right here, whatever that thing's called. And I'm kind of going to bow it out both ways. Um, we are going to finish up my the eye look. Now that the eyeliner is dry, we are going to add more of this champagne truffle because we want this white part to come all the way down and kind of follow the line of the eyeliner. If we had done that when it was wet, I don't think it would look as good. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna add some more water or some more primer to the brush so that we can get it really pack it on. Now we are going to do some fake eyelashes. I'm going to use these Yessie. Basically you just really want to find ones if you, I don't have any eyelashes, if you can see, literally no eyelashes. So I have to use eyelashes. If you have eyelashes, curl them, put mascara on and make them big, long and fluttery and then go about your day. I have to use fake ones. So I'm going to use these really, really fluffy ones like this. I am going to put the glue on the eyelashes and then we're gonna, while we're waiting for the glue to dry, we are going, I'm trying to take the glue off of the eyelashes. We are going to put the dots on my face while this glue dries. I'm using this duo latex free in black. That's what works for me, use what works for you. So while that dries, I am going to put the dots on. So you're gonna need something white. If it, either it's white paint or white something. I happen to have this something that's kind of white. It's this pink opal shimmer in the um, Shadow Scents from Senegence. So this is what works for me. Just find something that's white. You know, obviously this is pink, but it still works. So find something that works. Use If you need to, go buy some white face paint or white paint of some sort, but this is what works for me. Um, I am going to use the end of a brush. So I'm gonna use the end of this brush because it's pretty small up here. And I am going to kind of cake this on here and then I'm gonna dab the end of the brush into this and then make dots. When you're doing these dots, there's no rhyme or reason to the dots, but you do want them to be different sizes. You don't want them to be all the same size. So either use different shaped tips or just kind of control it how you want. So I'm just gonna dot my face like this. If you want bigger dots, you know, just make the circle bigger. You wanna follow obviously the dark parts that you just work so hard to get. You can see there's really no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. You can do as little or as many as you want. I have no idea where I was because I got interrupted by a phone call, but we, oh, my eyelashes. They've been sitting here for a while. Hopefully they're still sticky. So I'm gonna curl my eyelashes, my not my normal, my natural ones, which you can't see. Eyelashes on. Oh, I was doing dots. That's what I was doing. I was doing dots. Let's see, do we need let's do a few more dots over here on the face, and we can be done with that, and then we can finish up the look. Now we are going to use this Blackberry by Lip Sense. Actually, Cenogen's Lip Sense is the product. We're going to put that on just the top lip. This product is completely, really awesome, and you're gonna see the awesomeness of this. So I'm gonna put black on the top and tan on the bottom. We'll fill that in with some more 
eyeshadow in a second. So we'll let that dry. We're gonna use this other color, creamer, on the bottom. And let all that dry so we can put the gloss on. But meanwhile, we are going to go back with this um, onyx and fill in this little spot that's missing. That. All right, now let's put our top coat gloss on and look at how cool this is. Nothing on the wand. We're gonna press our lips together and it will not smear. Ah. Take down my hair and then I bought these antlers off of Amazon and I added these flowers here. So it was, you can see I just added the flowers there. I hot glued them on just to make it a little bit cuter and woodsier. Just stick those antlers on. And then you can add, you can wear a black shirt with black pants and add this little fur vest that I got on Amazon. It was $35, I think, or just any fur vest or a velvet vest or some kind of furry thing, and you have your complete outfit. To summarize, you want lighter shade here, darker shade here, and then you want to get your dots and your mouth and um, some dark eyes, and you want to kind of rim your whole eye with black and kind of shimmer it outside all the way into the corner, and there you have your look. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you guys. I'm very much a novice makeup person, so it's something that I think everyone can do and just adapt it to how you can do makeup. If you don't do all the different eye colors for your eyeshadow, you just do one eyeshadow, just do that and just try and make sure that you get some shimmer on the inner corners at least and get some eyeliner all around your eye and you have yourself a deer and some dots. So I think the dots is what makes it really cute. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you try it and give me a picture and tag me in your pictures. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.